Tongyong in South Korea was the venue for the latest World Cup action. A huge field too, with 66 men taking their chance over the Olympic distance. The big favourite was the American Matt McElroy, who was coming off successive podium finishes in Valencia and Carlo Vivari. 1,500 metres to swim, pretty calm. And the uh, early advantage was held by Nathan Lesmat of France who'd won an African Cup race a few months earlier and made the swim look very, very easy indeed. Just 17 and a half minutes, he was out the water. The big question, though, was how many would be in the leading bike pack. No serious issues in T1. You can see the swim had really stretched out the field, and now it was all about a 40-kilometre ride over six laps pretty much an out and back course. There were eight men at the front for most of it. That was until three men decided to break away. Jack Willis of Britain, Ricardo Batista of Portugal, and Junpei Furoya of Japan. You might have remembered him from the race in Cagliari the previous weekend when his breakaway with Johnny Brownlee resulted effectively in the Brit taking a silver medal. And the Japanese was at it again here. And these three came into T2 with around about a minute advantage over a large chasing pack. Willis was away first and uh, looking pretty confident too, ahead of his two rivals. He did know though that behind him in the main pack were some very talented runners, not least McElroy, the pre-race favourite who was wearing number one. Willis got the better of his immediate two rivals, but then the American on just the third lap made his charge. And it never really looked like being answered. McElroy, of course, who previously has won a silver in a championship series race. That was in Leeds back in 2019. This, though, would be his first victory in three years and a reward for all the hard times and all the injury issues that he's had to face. In the end, a very, very comfortable success for the Californian inside an hour and three quarters. Quick time for a delighted McElroy. Meanwhile, behind him, Gabor Faldem was comfortable in second place. His first podium in seven years. And Sam Dickinson from nowhere got the bronze for Britain. Uh, I feel good. Uh, this is my second time winning this race. And we've been on kind of a World Cup podium streak the last couple races. I think it's time uh, I do a WTS and see uh, what I, if it, if it translates. But uh, today, man, that was that was a tough race. Well, he might have the chance to do that in Bermuda in early November. But the next event in the World Cup diary is Miyazaki, Japan. And that's in a fortnight's time.